you're gonna have to obtain two things the acid and the NaOH with it which is sodium hydroxide once you obtain these two things prepare the sodium hydroxide first how to do that you're gonna get a beaker set up all your apparatus set up your workstation get a beaker put the NaOH into the beaker and the beaker is gonna look like one second the beaker is gonna look like this okay this is the beaker this is the 0 .00 okay this is the beaker this is 0 0.00 milliliter line you're gonna fill it a little bit above here so that it you give it enough liquid in order to drop into the tip and you want to make sure that the tip has liquid in it so that it's more accurate after that after you set this naoh solution you are going to prepare the acid and to do that you need to get a flask get a flask okay measure your acid they're gonna tell you how much acid you need to measure and then you're gonna use a weighing boat weigh the weighing boat first so that you tear it and then put the acid into the weighing boat the correct amount of acid you need weigh that after you get that go back to your workstation transfer the acid into the flask using deionized water so you're gonna pour okay so if this is the boat the, pour water into here make sure you wash this weighing boat so that every single thing gets into this flask so this has acid now okay after that you're gonna get phenolphthalein which is a color indicator they will not tell you to put the phenolphthalein into the flask so you need to make sure you remember to put the phenolphthalein into the flask you're gonna add around three drops add three drops of phenolphthalein into this flask after that you're gonna put this flask put it under the beaker okay this is the water and then put it on the beaker this will be the acid mixture and then this is the base mixture okay and how phenolphthalein works is since this is base this is acid when this goes in here it's gonna react with the acid and once once this reaches a neutral point the base is not gonna react with the acid anymore therefore this gives the phenol phenolphthalein after this stops reacting to the acid this will react to this so the base will begin reacting to the phenolphthalein, which is a color indicator. So once this reaches the equivalence point, it's not going to react anymore. It's going to react with this, which is why this gives this color. Because when this reacts with this, this obtains color. After this gets color, you are going to see how much the water, the NaOH solution drops down, which will give you the volume. Okay. You're gonna have to record the volume. After you record the volume, put it in your cheat sheet, and this will be your final volume. Initial volume is always zero because this is zero, and you're gonna fill it into this point. After you record the volume, you will now have volume, and next step is to do your calculations because you are done with your lab exam uh, lab procedure after this turns pink and you record the volume now there are three things you have to calculate you have to calculate the moles of naoh you have to calculate the moles of hydroxide ions and moles of hydronium ions hydroxide is h plus hydronium h 3 o plus and then you're gonna have to calculate the equivalent mass of an acid to calculate the naoh notice how you calculate volume already right and then during the process where in the start where you get the naoh they're gonna give you the molarity you have to write down the molarity and guess what molarity is moles over liters so now in order to find liters which is volume oh in order to find moles you need to multiply the molarity you got from the NaOH, multiply it by the volume in liters you got from this experiment, and then you will get the moles of NaOH. Okay? 
once you get the mold of NaOH, you will now have this, okay, this, what do you call it, number from the calculation. You have a, you have a product, you have a product from multiplying, okay? The product will conveniently be this the answer to your second step which is the moles of h plus or moles of three h3o plus and the reason why they are the same this this is equals to this is because the ratio of moles hydroxide ions and ratio of hydronium ions is one one so no matter what it's going to be the same value last step to calculate equivalent mass of an acid now that you have the moles uh, okay, wait, hold on. To calculate the equivalent mass of an acid, it's just basically the mass of an acid divided by the moles of hydronium or hydroxide ions. And you get the moles, the mass of an acid. The mass of an acid you already measured in the beginning of the, pro the procedure, which you should have already. And then the moles of hydronium ions is basically what you calculated over here. So divide this by this and you get an answer and you are good to go. That is basically the whole lab. And if you do this, you will pass.